Hi guys, so today we're going to go and do another sewing project. Um, so I want to start this by saying if you have never been to a charity shop and got fabric from there, you need to do it. <laughs> so I bought this, um, this is from a kid's duvet cover. Um, let me show you the right side so you can see the design. So it is a stitch duvet cover and it is so cute. This is the back of it. Unfortunately, the front was pretty damaged. Um, looked like someone had spilled ice pole or something all over it, you know, like an ice lolly. It was like bluish colors and so I had to throw that away, but um, cause I couldn't get it out. But and this did have a little bit of stain on it, but that came out easy. I've been through the wash a few times, so, you know, and I'll wash it again once I finish the garment. Uh, but yeah, £4.50 for a double duvet cover. And I've got plenty of this fabric left and I'm gonna do at least two bucket hats, I think, with this fabric. So what we're doing today, um, yeah, reduce, reuse, recycle everyone. We need to, get rid of the fast fashion industry don't we um <laughs> so this is the pattern i am using can you see that it is a 1993 pattern now i lived through the 90s and the clothing <laughs> i didn't enjoy it all that much but um this is a high-waisted skirt um and I think it's going to be nice and simple and it's going to show off the fabric really nice. So I've cut all my pieces out. I'll insert a little bit of all the pieces that I've got out. So it was doubled over. So I cut basically just four of the triangular pieces and a waistband. And I have a lining fabric. This came from the reuse center. Um, it is again a duvet cover, but this one was still in its packaging. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. Again, I did wash it just because it's been in there a while and it's old and I just wanted to get rid of any anything that was in it, any pre-treatments or anything. So it's been washed and it does, I didn't um, worry about not getting the, because the front's got this um, detailing on it. I've just kept that this is a lining you're not really going to see it and i just thought it was kind of fun to kind of keep that original feature so you can see like the life story of the fabric i suppose um yeah i could have just used the back of the duvet cover that didn't have any design on it but i thought no we'll keep that and it'll be fun and then you've got this looks like you've got like the corner there i don't know if you can see there that goes all the way down so yeah so we've got to sew two panels together to make the front two panels together to sew to make the back then I think we put the waistband on and then put a zip in but because I'm doing it lined I've added an extra step so basically I've got to do the skirt pieces twice and then sew them together. I'm going to use that instead of doing a hem because I don't like doing hems, so I'm really bad at it. <laughs> because that means all my seams are going to be inside and we don't have to worry about them. I we may probably just like uh, do an overlocking stitch. I don't have a serger or anything, so I just use my sewing machine, do an overlocking stitch so that nothing falls apart or unravels it inside. I don't have to worry about it being too neat. Um, if I wasn't doing a lining, I would probably do French seams to keep it nice and neat. So that's enough of me rambling on. I'm going to go and do some sewing.
I've deviated from the pattern already. <laughs> so it says to sew your front pieces and back pieces together and stay stitched on top. I've done that. Um, and then it says to sew your front piece to your back piece by the zipper side first, do the zipper and then do the other side, which is the right side. But I've sewn the right side. So it's all one piece now. And the reason I've done that is because I want to now attach my lining to the skirt and then do the zipper through both of them. I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want to do. <laughs> so let's... Uh, sorry, I hope that wasn't too loud on the mic. Let's line up our right sides. I've also sewn one of these panels kind of the wrong way around but never mind it doesn't matter so right side together with the waist 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 right sides you'll notice I've not been pinning these out it's a bit naughty of me but Okay, there you go. So I have ironed these pieces as well to try and tame the seams, but um, it's difficult because there's a lot of polyester in these, so it's had to be done on a cool iron. Trying to interface the waistband was an interesting thing to do because that uh, generally takes a hot iron. There we go. So I'm going to so, it's the bottom together, try and keep it nice and lined up. I've not been using any pins in here, so it's been a bit naughty, but hey ho. I'm trying to get this done nice and quick. But I can edit this video, I'm going away to, well, I'm going away on Monday and I'm going to be staying at Lee's house. Uh, that's my fiance. Um, his house. From today, which is Saturday, so I would like to get this finished before we go, but we'll see. Okay, so. Lined up. Let's go. Okay, quick style check. See how we're doing. So, it's going to be roughly about there. <laughs> it's not going to be cheeky, don't worry. Alright, so it's going to be on the side there, left side zip. Oh, I can't really see it in there. If I know it's so long. <laughs> yes, very good. So, now I need to sew this seam. <laughs> and to stop this from moving because I now have four pieces of fabric to sew through. I have pinned. I've pinned this time. This is where we stop because our zipper goes in here. So we just need to put a little reinforcement stitch in there. Let's stitch all the way down to the bottom. And then we do the scary part and put the zip in. Yay! Okay, so the instructions say to baste, but uh, I'm just gonna go and sew with my foot straight away. I think it'll be fine. I'm definitely not going to film this one hand. <laughs> so I'll come to you when I've done the first side and then we'll have a figure out of the second side because I think he wants me to cover the zip with the other piece of fabric. So we'll see. Okay, now I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never done a zip like this before where you cover the zip with the the fabric. Um, so this side went nice. That's all in. I've just got to do this side. Mm, nervous. I'll be back when it's done. Mm. 
Ah, uh, yeah, that didn't work. So I'm trying something else. I'm going to pin this as if it's a seam, just close there. And then I'm going to sew oh, the zip on the inside on this side. So I'm pinned on that side, I'll sew on this side. And then hopefully, did you see any of that? Sorry, I'm not. Let me turn the viewfinder up there. Okay. So I'm pinned on this side and I will sew on this side. Um, and hopefully that will work. Oh, fingers crossed. All right, I think we're just going to call that good enough. <laughs> it's done. And then when the waistband's on, it'll cover that. <laughs> Waistband. <laughs> gone to pack my sewing machine away and I just noticed that we entirely used that bobby. <laughs> How lucky was that? There was like that much left. <laughs> wow. fun I love it it's longer than I thought it was gonna be a lot longer uh, not sure if I'll take it up or not we'll see I do need to find a fastening for here I've just got my uh, raven club back today <laughs> for the moment just keeping that in I just I'm just gonna get one of those um, hook and bar things I don't really want to do a button I don't think no I'll just do a hook and bar. But yeah, um, I like it. It's come out really nice. Uh, yeah. So there you go. So go to the charity shop, grab yourself some bedding, and make yourself a skirt. <laughs> That's the pattern again. There you go. Very, very simple. I did this one because it's no buttons. I quite like the look of the buttons, but getting all the buttonholes in the right place is still something I'm not great with. So I thought we'd do the slightly easier for me version with the zipper. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. And yeah, I will see you again soon. Bye.